All righty, so we're gonna be going through all the brackets. Top 16 just hit Osiris League season seven and Rise of Kingdoms. We're gonna start off uh, all of our brackets with the Anubis Realm. Uh, very interesting. There has been some upsets on this one. Some new teams that I haven't personally heard of. I need to open up real quick the game because there are a couple of points that I need to double check uh, in case we got to make some educated guesses. You know what I mean, fam? A um, couple of PM snow hoes. Materi, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Thank you so much for the uh, or for the follow. I gotta get used to that. The follow, baby. And we're gonna be doing some brackets right now. I appreciate y'all coming and following. Thank you, thank you. And we're just waiting for this for Rise to open up real quick. There we go. And bang. Let me get to Anubis Realm. That way, in case I need to select any any teams to to work our way there, then we can. All right, so we have our bracket. This is going to be there. I will release these like my my selections as we get closer. Um, so first up, we got SV68 versus CHA. Uh, SV68. Let me see. I'm gonna move this over again so I can see Bastet next. All right, y'all just call them out and we'll do them. Um, SV68, WA49. I'm looking real quick. T30, 50CN. They so they beat 50CN, which is very impressive because I believe uh, they didn't make it in. I thought they did. Okay, maybe they didn't make it in, but 50CN I thought was doing really well. So. All right, let's look at CHA. W75, eh. CN21, so they came in second. And CN21 is bottom of that one. How bad did they beat him though? Let's see. Uh, By 16. I think just based on history, I do know, I do know 2268's team. Not like extremely well, but I have heard of them. So I think I'm gonna end up giving them to, they are the, the number one ranked on their side. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it to them. I'm gonna have them moving forward. All right. Uh, this next one is gonna be really, really interesting uh, because a lot of people don't necessarily know one EE8. Um, 1E8 has a lot of the old Boob players. The 108, if y'all remember them. Um, boob Lifestyle. Uh, they still have JD. They still have a bunch of them. And GV77, I think a lot of people think are gonna kind of come in and stomp the yard. I don't think it's gonna be that, that big of an upset, to be honest with you. Um, it's definitely something to keep your eyes on. I would say where GV probably has the leg up is in mid game. But if they don't provision, they're going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Um, I don't know about their provisioning. We could check that out technically. Let me see real quick. Let's go look at the league stats real quick. Uh, Alliance, uh, provision score. We're going to go look at Bazta, no Anubis, sorry. Hmm. So just giving you an example, one, one, uh, e8 is actually on top of all the other alliances in provision game the next one is wa49 and they're 3000 less and let's see where gv77 is at 4400 so they provision literally nothing in game so I think this one's going to be very interesting. I think if one E8 can actually pull an arc, this one's going to come down almost to the wire. I think this one's going to be definitely a match to watch. Um, and we're going to see if our boy JD, let me see of individuals. I think they actually have two of the top three in provisions. Uh, JD top two of the top five, JD and Lafina are three and four or three and four. So they 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 provision a shit ton so this one's gonna be very very interesting um dude i really i'm gonna be honest with you going with my heart i really 
actually want to go with one E8. It's just going to come down to the last, the last points, I think. Unless GV come out and score like three or four arcs, like they come out swinging with the arc game. Um, it's going to be interesting to see it. I would be interested to see what the average arc scoring in this season is. What do y'all think it is? Three? I want to say it's probably like three or four. You would think that it would be more because of the new skills and effects and all that kind of stuff to expedite capturing. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's probably still three if I had to take a stab. GV will run up the arcs for sure. If 188 doesn't get first arc, that's a wrap. Yeah, that is true. I think GV... Like, so the way that I always tell everybody with arc is regardless of whatever mode you play, the first arc is the most important because it paces the game. You control the pace, right? Is one. But two, you get to capture an arc when skills aren't involved, really, right? As most people do not save skills in the very beginning. They use them for a hard push or whatever they're going to use them for. So more often than not, you're running into middle with no skills to use. Maybe one, um, but your best opportunity being the underdog of grabbing arc is going to be your first one if you strategize it well. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb. This is definitely not going to be a popular choice, but I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say that they get that first arc. They hold it and their provision game at the end uh reels it in i do think i will say this i do think that gv will reel them in and i think what will put them over the top is going to be the provisions okay so i don't think it's going to be a four art game i think it will be a two i think gv will wax them on the second one and um then the provisions will be what put them over the top and when i mean over the top i don't mean by like five thousand. i just mean like they're gonna win it based on that um, so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens there. I can easily see a world where GV just steamroll them. Um, but we're going to see. I have a lot of faith in 1E8. Uh, AO77, SJ. All right. So these are two teams I don't actually know a ton about. Let me see. 61BG, beat them pretty handily. RD2K, oh, dude, they waxed RD2K. 21, and they waxed PK26. Okay, SJ32, no show, lost to Wib. That's interesting though, they lost to Wib by like, was this a thousand points? Color me intrigued now. You're in the right universe. Yeah, we're just not doing it on YouTube. They lost. They lost to Wib by a thousand points, bro. That's interesting. Huh. I definitely think that AO77 is probably the favorite if I had to take the betting guesses. Let me see real quick. If I had to take the betting guesses, let's see real quick. If I had to take a guess, uh, AO77, actually SJ is the favorite. I was, I was inclined to agree too. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with that prediction as well. Cause when they lose by less than a thousand to, to Wib and Wib, I always classified as a top four team. Um, I think that even, even losing that is, is a morale boost for sure is down on coins yeah they are <clears throat> let me see i think the wib is making sj sj32 overrated yeah but winning by a thousand i think i don't think they would wib would really do that i think we're gonna end up going with that Actually, you know what? I'm going to go with the other one. I'm going with A. 
I'm going with A. I think I'm going with A on that one. <clears throat> I think I trust... I'll put it this way. I think I trust A077 beating RD2K into the dirt more than I trust SJ losing just by a thousand points to whip. And that's just a gut feeling. That's nothing that's like personal to any of them. It's just the way that I feel. No! <laughs> I'm so far removed from the game these days. I barely recognize any of the teams. Yeah, the, a lot of the teams are so bad. Um, CN21 and then PK26. Let's check out these scores real quick. CN21, V10. V10's dog shit. Uh, CHA is okay. They made it through. Uh, W75, probably no show. Or um, they tried, but we'll see. Uh, PK26. Beat RD2K by 10. PK, they lost to 61 BG. Mm, and they got pounded by AO7. So I'm going to go CN21. That's where I'm going. All right. So that's what we have. Uh, 60 GT, let's be perfectly honest. WA has no shot. Um, so we're auto move them. Don't even need to talk about that one. Um, CPLW. I th honestly, I'm telling you this one. I really do feel like this one is going to be a very big surprise to a lot of people. I know that people are saying, oh, they beat CPLW already. What I remember is I remember them being in KVK. So they pretty much no showed. They got their 10K and left. So I don't really classify the first one as a loss. Uh, not saying that they didn't lose. I'm just saying I, I don't necessarily fly with that one. Because if you think about it, a lot of them, there's a 70K win right there. There's a, there's a bunch of them. So I don't know. I, I have a lot of faith in CPLW for sure. And that's, that's what makes this one a little bit more difficult. Um, Cause they curb stomped pretty much everybody else that they've played. Um, and I'm a big fan of CPLW. So I'm going to actually go with them now that they shouldn't, I don't believe they're still in KVK, but if they are, then GG's to that prediction, but it doesn't really matter because 60 GT is going to wax either one of them. Um, so we're going with that one. <laughs> GQ 39 versus Sin. I have heard good things about Sin. DQ pretty much had no shows and then. Hmm. DQ 39 here. I want to see something real quick. This may end up switching one of my things real quick. League DQ 89 Anubis. This is what I want to see. Uh, Alliance provision GQ 39 10k 17. So I'm fairly confident they did provision in that match. So if they beat them by 3k, that probably means that they did they beat them in mid game, and then the provisions are what help push them over the top. The question is, so here's the other thing. Arc score, DQ. Let's see what arcs DQ. So 3650, they're in the top four for arc, which means GV77 is number one. Oh man, that's a hard one, bro. So GV77 is the number one arc scoring team in the league. DQ is number four. Bro, there's no way. Okay, never mind. We can't stick with this one then. We can't stick with that one. As much as I want to, knowing that it changes, it changes a lot because. All right. We'll keep that one. DQ, we're going to end up going with them. They have top, st top, top stats, no throwaway games. And Sin, I think, I still think this will be like a 7.5K win. This one is going to be the interesting one because 
if it was last season 60 mx i probably would have given it to them but it isn't dqb uh, dqb 188 yeah brother i'm with you there yeah i just think once you start looking at all the logistics i could see if gv wasn't like they were in like five to seven in arc scoring but when you're number one by you know 5,000 score over 60 gt that's kind of a it's kind of a, a big discrepancy right there can't unthink it now that you said it what did i say what did i say uh so 60 mx if they were last season team probably would have them winning this but i will say this with wib they are in top five for arc arc captures provisions they are good god they're 16 oh bro they don't even provision jesus christ dang bro I... what about occupation it's hard man because 60 60 is beating them in almost every category 60 mx occupation is number one <laughs> okay well i guess we're sticking with them i guess we're sticking with them i was looking for a reason to choose with but bro when you can't have number 16 in provisions I, the, that's the problem though is based on all the stats Wib would have to pull something out of their ass in order to even keep it close because look arc of osiris score well you can't see it but i'm open i have it open on the side screen Wib is number five which isn't bad right 36.5k arc of osiris score but 60 mx is 40 so they're they're ahead by that one 3.5 provision score uh 60 mx is in number eight with nine 93 61 and then wib is number 16 at 2.8 2.8 bro and then the real separator is an occupation score 60 mx is number one with 143.363 they're beating gt in that front not to mention that they were in the same group as GT, so that's what makes it even more impressive. And then Wib is number 13 at 79. So, I don't know. This one could be a wash. This one could be a, easily be a wash. All right, moving on. SV68, GV77. I do think GV is going to be definitely the one to keep your eye on. I'm not sure if there's going to be a team that's going to be close. Um, let's see where SV68 falls. They're number 10 on arc score. That's like 30k less than GV, bro. Provision. SV68 is number 14 at 3.5, right below. So they both suck ass at provisioning. And then occupation, I think this is going to be the separator right here. 136, 136 for GV and then 84, bro. Yeah, we're going, we're going GV. When you have two, you usually what I say is you need two of the three to be successful. But when two of your three are almost double what your opponent is, that's a very clear uh, differential that more teams than not are not gonna be able to make up. Uh, AO77, CN21. I do think that this is kind of a clear one to me. Um, and the AO77 moving on. Right? Then we got 60 GT CPL. As much as I would love to go hurrah, hurrah. Yeah, they got no shot. They got no shot. 60 GT coming in. Uh, DQ. This one could be interesting. Because I think DQ actually has good stats, but we're gonna look real quick. Uh, Arc of Osiris. DQ is number four, right below on Arc of Osiris, so they do have a good mid game. 
Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Materi. Uh, DQ39 is directly below them on ARC. Provisions, let's see where they're at. DQ is actually above. They're at 10K, they're at number five, and 60 is at number eight, or yeah, number eight. So slightly above. Occupation, I think, is the interesting one. Uh, because they are both in top top 10, or top five, correction. 60MX is number one at 143, but DQ is at 124. So it really isn't that big of a, of a discrepancy on those. I think ultimately what it's gonna come down to is it's gonna come down to the art. Um, they both pretty much suck ass at provisioning, so it's not gonna really be that. Um, occupation, they're pretty much, based on the numbers, they're gonna flip flop them back and forth. But it's going to come down to mid-game. And... Oh, man. They're like a 3K separation. You know what? We're going to go for an upset on this one. We're going to go for an upset on this one. We're going to go DQ. Upset over 60 MX. All right. And then we got our final four. Getting their skin. Let's see... Hmm. Oh, yo, Boba can't unthink it now. He said it. The cheeseburgering earlier. I told you. I personally got 60MX. Uh, GT don't provision anymore either. I got DQ over MX. Like you said, uh, if this was old MX, yeah, but DQ has been improving the past couple of seasons. Nice. Okay, well, that's good information. GV, I think this one will actually be a pretty solid one. I can easily see this one going either way. Um, the interesting part is I'm interested to see if anybody's going to be able to stop GV in mid. That's going to be the ultimate play right there. Are they going to be able to stop GV in mid? Um, I don't think they are, which is the reason why I think this one, while it may be close, I think GV is going to run away with the arc. I think that's where it's going to happen. Um, and we'll put GV on top. Uh, this one, I would love to say that this is going to be a good match, but... I don't think there's very many teams in in all four realms that could really realistically uh line up very well with gt uh and i don't think gq is on that level yet i think they're very good and they're improving but you got to be on a whole other level uh to do this so i don't know if arvix is on um on both of these teams but if he is it's arvix versus arvix if not then you know we'll see um I don't think that GT's realistically shown a lot of their mid-game strats purposefully. Um, so I think what they've seen before is probably not what you're going to see in mid. So hold on. I just thought about this. I should add a... Let me add a... So I'm going to give game one... I'm going to give game one to GT. Since it's a friendship league. Let me see. As much as I hate saying this. Because it's a friendship league. I think we will get this. And then game three, I think we will get that. I think that's what we'll get. Because of a friendship league, I think game two will get thrown at the very end. And then game three for extra rewards will go to game three and GT will wax them off the map. I think that's what we're gonna be seeing. That's the bracket I'm gonna lock in. I hope y'all let me know if y'all agree in the chat and the video let me know in the comments down below if there's something you think i missed or some surprise team and we'll definitely look into it so i hope y'all enjoyed and onward to our next realm